Bullhead is up 64% in just over one year of trading. And last week, it got a very nice profit of over four points. Now, since the PAM manager, um, he's changed the instruments on this thing. So he's trading different pairs. And ever since he did that, it really has taken off with a very small performance fee of just 15%. This account stands out in my risk capital portfolio as an excellent value. But before I tell you any more, understand this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. There is extreme risk in, in trading, including a complete loss of funds. So with that being said, let's go over what is going on with Bullhead. So Bullhead is a PAM on Lyrinix. The minimum to get in is just $100. The performance fee, as I said before, is just 15%. And that's only on profits. The way a performance fee works, on, uh, on profit is that let's say that I gain $1,000 in the month of April, May 1st rolls around, the trader takes out 150 um, via the broker, and then the remainder stays in my account and is available for future trading. There are no other junk fees with this, so it's only the performance fee. If there is no profit, there is no fee. All trades are just, oh, I can enter and exit at any time, which is really nice um, and becoming increasingly rare with PAM accounts. So um, this one still lets you get in and get out at any time. All trades are disclosed in real time. This is typically when you change the, uh, the pairs over from all USD pairs to more commodity-based pairs, um, mainly being USD CAD. Um, we've seen really, really good results from this one. I'm in at 35 risk units, and I will probably be increasing that next month. Um, with this one, we do have the um, enrollment guide, we have a video, an enrollment video, and if you are interested in this or you are in it and you wanna be updated whenever there are changes or I see anything going on with this, then um, you wanna be following this post in the community, just click on follow post and you can go ahead and do that. Um, other than that, uh, let's take a look at, oh, we do have, yes, we do have a trade, you know, as we are wont to do on a Monday. Let's look at a uh, bullhead trade. Okay, so this is the US CAD. As I said, a lot of the trading is done on the CAD. And we can see here that this is an uptrend. And actually, he took a short on this. So I wouldn't take a short on this but he did and it worked out really well. But what we do see here, the reason to take a short is the seller's entry. So we have a seller's entry here, a seller's entry here, a seller's entry here, and then the final seller's entry here. So on that on that fourth seller's entry is where he gets in. So if we typically see him scalp, so that means that he's looking at the lower time frames. So if we take the one hour time frame and we remember that there is this um, line here, this seller's entry trend line here, and we come up to the um, we come up to the one minute time frame. And what we see here, and what we see here is what I would characterize as violent bearish divergence. You can see it going up, 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 up. And we can see the RSI, the momentum oscillator going down, 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 down very violently. It's going up. And then whenever we see a violent divergence, typically, um, there is a change in, in market direction. And we can see here that he gets in short right here. And then the market goes right in his direction after a few minutes, and then it goes against him. We're in a brief drawdown right there. And then it goes all the way down here. Now, again, I don't, I would have gotten out here, but that would have been wrong. That's just my trading style. What I can see is, I don't know why he, he got out there, but from what I can tell is we can see we are starting to get the RSI into that oversold territory um, right here. Then it comes back out and then we get bullish divergence here. So you can see that it goes up. So it's the opposite of what happened here, indicating the market might go back up. And that's what also happened. The market did go back up. So. I mean, it's a beautiful trade. It's not a trade I would have taken personally. It's not my style, but it is his style. Um, you know, he's looking at those lines on the on the higher time frame. From what we can see from all the analysis we do every week, um, this definitely comports with his trading style. And on this small uh, portion of equity on this trade last week, which was um, April 11th um, last week, 
um, got a 4.26% gain on this. So it's a very, very nice trade. Um, so, you know, I, I like to, I'm a trading nerd. I like to go over this crap. I don't know if it interests some people Some sometimes, I guess. Uh, we do have real traders that, that actually watch um, and give me feedback in the community. So uh, it's just kind of an interesting trade. Um, the one that I wouldn't take in, so I like to highlight it because there are all kinds of ways to make money in this market. And uh, my way isn't necessarily um, the way that the best way, just the way that works for me. And this trading style is the way that works for the bullhead trader. And we are appreciative of that. And by the way, if you are a trader, um, this software is called TraderSync. There is a 15% discount for anyone in my community. If you are trading, you need to be logging your trades. And this trading journaling software, TraderSync, is the best I've ever seen. And I've, I've used a lot, including my own. Uh, where I, have my, I used to have my own journal before I found these guys, and it's phenomenal. Um, also with Bullhead, there is an IB program. It is a four-tiered lot rebate structure. And if you are a Lyrinix IB, you can go ahead and download the Bullhead Trading Lyrinix Onboarding Guide. All you have to do is just take your affiliate link with, on the Lyrinix IB website, you paste it in here, and you go to file, go download in whatever format that you like, and then you can hand it out to your IB downline. And we support, completely support our IBs in the community. So if you have any questions whatsoever, head over to the community. You can DM me right up there. You can post in um, platform discussion, which is right over here. And uh, anyone in the community is, uh, we have a lot of people that are willing to help, including myself. Um, so that is Bullhead Trading, um, just continues to do really, really well. I mean, ever since here, we've been going up. We are now at an all-time high in terms of profit for Bullhead. So hopefully that will continue um, to uh, to proceed as, as this will continue to go up and up and up. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? And then I will increase my risk capital exposure. <laughs>